All right, so I'm going to uh, uh, load up ChatGPT and go through these questions. Yeah. It's been um, interesting uh, what kind of questions ChatGPT gets right. Oh, I don't have any backup, so I guess we'll see how it does. So I'm just going to put this question in, and then let's see how it answers. I have to watch out for the formatting, as it does. Um, it's relatively, yeah, it's got these things that there's a, something that I do want to try out with the ChatGPT later, uh, next week. I will say that next week. Um, uh, professor, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Um, I had just before you punch this in, I was curious is this the I know there's two versions of ChatGPT, there's ChatGPT 3 that was based on a limited set of information and then now there's a paid version uh chat gpt4 which now has a little bit more access i guess unlimited access to the internet and i was curious which version uh of chat gpt we're using here so this is the free research version i haven't upgraded because i didn't want to pay what thirty dollars <laughs> per month yeah <laughs> Um, now, I do believe, uh, let me see if I can do this. Uh, uh, I hope nothing embarrassing shows up here. All right. Yeah. I mean, it's not embarrassing, but it's not meant to be heard in the setting. So uh, being so Bing's uh, new chat thing, it shows up as part of Edge feature. So uh, yes. let me do this with a regular chat GPT. And then let's uh, just try this for one of the questions that chat GPT gets wrong and see if this does it any differently. Let's give it a try. Because okay. I, I do think Bing has access to more uh, recent version. So we'll see. Um, OK, so we'll ask this and then see what it does. No, wait. I have to actually read the actual question. Uh, thanks for listening so far. It's in response. Uh, okay. Affects following principle of relativity. Yeah, retains the principle of relativity. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's actually a pretty good answer. <laughs> Conservation of energy momentum. Oh yeah, this is actually pretty good, uh, especially four vector. Uh, not the lower division physics textbooks mention energy momentum four vector. Uh, calculation of relative velocity. Wait, did I? Was it one of the general? Uh, um. I might put a question mark on this. So in terms of uh, like relative velocity between two things, nothing really changes. Although um, it, the question is a little bit ambiguous. So I think that this would be okay response. Principle of inertia, was there one of that thing? Uh, uh, Newton's first law, okay. Um, Ah, um, here it misunderstood what I meant by principle of inertia. So it, uh, um, so what it's saying here, it's uh, um, so I think um, what. So this is something I do mention in the lectures. Uh, usually to say I'm never going to mention this again. Uh, it goes to when you have um, expression like uh, relativistic momentum, which is gamma mv. There used to be a or there was well there used to be an idea of something called uh, relativistic mass. For example, if you read through uh, Feynman lectures. Uh, you will actually hear Feynman uh, talk about relativistic mass. And um, it's one of the ideas that used to be popular early, uh, like decades ago, but it's fallen out of use now. And in the lecture, I explained how, why, why that is, because really relativistic mass is not distinguishable from uh, relativistic energy. And so, but under the 
hypothetical scenario where you are giving some meaning to relativistic mass, I think this response fits within that. By showing that the inertia of an object, its uh, quote unquote mass, depends on its energy. Um, we don't do it, it's, uh, that particular way of approaching things, we don't use that anymore. Whenever someone says mass or inertia, it means the invariant mass, invariant inertia. So, uh, and the actual principle of inertia is, you know, Newton's first law, that doesn't change. Um, all right, special application of general principles, continuing. Yeah, so here it's just repeating the uh, same answer instead of, so the intended answer here is the, um, you have to use correct formula. You have to use a, a relativistic energy formula, relativistic momentum formula. Uh, calculation of acceleration of body under a force. Yeah, relativistic formula. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is correct. Um, all right, so I think we can come back and ask this part of the question, maybe, if it doesn't, let's see how it does with the uh, questions two and three. Uh, question two, we know that the velocity of an object has an upper limit. Is there an upper limit? Okay. Ah, <laughs> that's wrong. Um, yeah, there should be no upper limit on momentum. It forgot about gamma, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Doesn't know gamma. <laughs> I, I don't know. I whenever this happens, I imagine there was a check answer that got trained into it. <laughs> so we'll definitely ask this to Bing and see if uh, it does any better. Uh, energy, and so this is actually a really common mistake people make. E equals mc square. It. Uh, so the only sense in which whenever someone says, uh, you know, Einstein proved that E <laughs> is equal to MC square, the only sense in which that can be considered to be right is if you're talking about the rest energy of something. Then, yeah, rest energy is equal to MC square. But if you're talking about general relativistic energy, you need gamma. E is equal to gamma MC square. Um, so yeah, let's ask this question to Bing. Uh, uh, actually, this is so bad. Let's do it now. So um, Bing is supposed to have a newer version of uh, Chat or oh, GPT. So uh, let's see. Can I change this? Yeah, I don't think I can. Uh, okay, if I think if I make this super narrow, then trying to close that advertisement off. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, well, they that. went straight to the textbook. Yeah, uh, library text, uh, that's actually um, uh, for uh, one of the conceptual physics classes I teach, sometimes I might switch to library text actually. Okay. It's comparable to open stacks. According to special reality, uh, then you cannot throw about this, we don't lie, right? Yeah, increases without bound. Therefore, there's no upper limit. Yeah, that, oh, that's correct. Okay. Yeah. And I think Bing chat is better in the sense, I think they do this uh, fun thing so that in case, because um, ChatGPT does this thing where it just hallucinates effect. And I think uh, Bing chat is probably less um, susceptible to that because it, uh, it gives you citation. So if uh, somehow it misunderstood and you can read it and yeah. yeah, I saw some I saw some super advanced testing of or some relatively strong testing of the new version of ChatGPT through Bing. And they were like, hey, let's we have products on our site. Let's see if it can pull data directly. And it's from uh, Linus Tech Tips, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and they were quite impressed. I was like, oh, wow. Yeah, it went and parsed. And gives you sources at least so you can say fact check all right this is a valid source or this is an yeah, invalid yeah. source um yeah i've seen those yeah it's a, <laughs> it gets a scary so uh, okay scary for a teacher who's watching out for people cheating <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah okay let's ask the last question uh and i'm just gonna go back to the regular <laughs> chat okay. GPT just because it's a uh, but maybe in future semesters, I'll uh, try to, uh, I gotta, um, 
Okay, charge to pi uh, uh, pi uh, plus minus um, um, unstable particle of mass 140 MeV per C squared is known to decay to muon plus minus S. Join the pi plus minus to mu plus minus plus mu mu explain as conceptually as possible. It's not possible that is why is decay of pi plus minus plus minus impossible um, okay by the way in this class uh, we are not going to get the particle physics material so uh, we won't cover these the module pages are there so if you want to take a look at them you can if we just uh, it's in the last uh, two weeks where we don't cover <laughs> because we don't have to and we are not short in the session so pinet charge is yeah electric charge electric charge uh, yeah that doesn't affect anything uh yeah that it's, yeah so it didn't quite get it because um like yeah yeah it, it's nonsense so let's try being chat um so because this uh um i've given it a hypothetical decay that would conserve charge and the answer is that you know it wouldn't this wouldn't be able to conserve energy and momentum simultaneously yeah um, if, uh, yeah so that's the <laughs> correct answer let's see if being gets it Yeah, don't use that answer. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's interesting. So, because uh, let let's try it. Because it didn't quite um get this note. So, uh, let let me just modify the questions to say explain why is impossible not possible without an associate to be no. Uh, even assuming that lepton number is not a conserved quantity. Even if the lepton number could be by a little bit. Ah, yeah, yeah. So whatever it's searching it, within the text, it has it's available. It might must not have the uh, explanation that it, this particular reaction has no way of conserving energy and momentum. It comes down to you know. So I don't think within special relativity there is never a single particle decay, um, even when you have a like an, an atom that's in the excited state that's decaying down it emits a particle like a photon so there has to be a, a, always be at least two particles that it's decaying into so it's okay I, i'm happy that both the chat gpt and being chat are starting to struggle um <laughs> it comes down to when it's a, a, like a lower um very common material, things that basically every engineer has to know, then yeah, th those are, there's going to be plenty of text to, to train those AI models against and have answer for. But as the things become more specialized, uh, you need an expert. <laughs> You're not going to be able to find the answer just on the internet. Uh, let me just try one last thing, um, just to, to see if, uh, what about Google search? Is there a Google search result that'll be
<laughs> I'm pretty sure this is uh, my question posted here, <laughs> answered by someone. Wait. Yes, um, this is exactly my question, and I'm pretty sure this is question I've written. Wait a minute, so, is this a website that got your question from? One of my past students or this semester students must have posted it. Bartleby.com. I've never heard of this website before. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. But, uh, I gotta, yeah. Expert I, solution. I, I, I we probably care. have to pay for that. <laughs> but somebody posted it here, like posting it to check. All right. Let, let me see if there's a, another. No. <laughs> yeah. And I used to have a paid check subscription. I don't. And actually, uh, it doesn't. Um, yeah, it, um, we have a, a, a problem. Anyways, let me not waste the time with this. Uh, <laughs> so ChatGPT doesn't get this right yet. Maybe it'll in a future version.